okay? So here again, so if I'm gonna draw this box, what I'm gonna do is I'm first, I'm gonna draw the, this front edge right here, this line straight up and down, okay? Then you notice if I lay my pencil horizontally here, you can see that this is going up at an angle and this is going up at an angle. So let's do that right here on my page. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna draw a straight line right here, just straight line, okay? Now I'm gonna draw this on an angle. Whatever angle this is at, this is gonna be at the same angle right there, okay? Whatever angle this is at, this is gonna be at the same angle right there, okay? Now, this is parallel to this, and this is parallel to this, okay? How to make a parallel line? Just take any straight edge. Let's say this is here, and I just slide it over. I can see if that's parallel or not. So just slide it over, make it parallel. Now, this line has to be parallel with this one. And if I slide it over now and make a parallel line right there, now this line is slide parallel, parallel, slide it over, boom. Now you got a three-dimensional box, okay? Now right now, that box, this particular box, is looking right at me. In other words, I can equally see this side and this side. So these angles are about the same right here and right here, okay? Now let's say I turn the box where I can see a lot of one side and only a little bit of the other. So I can see a lot of this side and only a little bit of that side. Okay, so I'm gonna draw that right now. So here we go. So now I'm gonna show a lot of the front. So the front is at a low angle now, okay? Then here's the vertical line, vertical line. Then this is gonna be at a higher angle, higher than the other one. So this is a greater angle. Now, when I get to the top here, once again, just slide this over. That's parallel right there, okay? And then slide this over and I'm gonna make it parallel right there. Now the top, once again, slide that over, parallel, and slide this over, parallel. And now I've got a box that I can see more of one side and a little less of the other side, okay? So there's three ways to do that. You're gonna have, you can see it equally, both sides. Once again, here's a box. I can see equally this side and this side. Now if I turn it, I see more, much more of one side than the other. Now, if I was to put a straight line right in front here, let's just play this ruler right here. You can see that this angle right here, this line right here, this is a really huge angle, big angle, okay? Whereas this line right here is a really small angle. Once again, I'll draw that line. So I'll take that away. So you can see if I take this away, I've got a huge angle here, goes up really high, and this one's really low. It's a really low angle. That's because I can see most of one side and just a little bit of the other. Now, last scenario is sometimes you might be looking right at a box. So let's say I turn the box and I'm looking right at one side, like this, oops, like that. Now, I can't see either side, okay? But if you notice the top, the top appears to angle in just a little bit just a little bit right here, okay? So if I'm drawing that box, let's get it, this is wrong, we don't wanna do this. So if I'm drawing that box, I'm gonna draw my square first, like so, and then the top is gonna to angle in just a little bit like this, and then here is the top of my box. So that's if I'm looking at a box straight on, okay? I can only see the front and the top, I can't see the sides. So what I want you to do is I want you to draw Grab one of those boxes that are in front of your table, a little cube or whatever, and I want you to draw it three different ways. Put it in front of you first time. We'll put it in front of you so that you can see both sides equally. Draw that. Then train it so that you can see one side more than the other side. Okay, then turn it where you can only see the front and the top. And I want you to draw that box three different ways. Do that.